Hey Pisces, this is Jeffrey, this is Ripe Color, and this is your reading for the week of September 4th through the 11th, and I believe there's a new full, there's a full moon coming up, I, I'm probably going to do a video. In Pisces, because it's Virgo season, so yeah, that's how it works. Um, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications, I offer private readings, they're on sale this month, the information is below, I have a beautiful website, ripecolor.com where I have beautiful handmade scarves, handmade t-shirts, handmade pocket squares, handmade by moi. Um, and I wanted it, don't miss the boat. That's the message. I And I, because I just finished, you know, I do them by element. I do videos by element. We do a different order every week, your fourth this week, which is good stability. Um, and I just finished Virgo, and because I wanted to start with Earth, something told me to start with Earth. And then I, I, I just got this real call for Pisces. I got this real call to do you next, as opposed to Cancer Scorpio. Blah, blah, blah. Um, don't miss the boat. It's like there's this opportunity that it might be I don't miss the boat. Yeah. Okay. And there's this energy of, I, I now I'm getting the whole thing. <laughs> you know, so it's like, okay, I'm planning a trip, right? And on a boat, you know, whether it be like just a day fishing, I've never fished in my life, but, uh, or ferry to get you to the next place or like cruise or whatever. And, um, like, well, you know, I got it. And, 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 and it doesn't matter whether the bags are packed. Doesn't matter whether you're wearing the right shoes, right? You need those deck shoes for the boat. Doesn't matter. Don't miss the boat. Don't talk yourself out of it. Okay? They'll show up as is, right? Mm. Wow. The lesson has been learned. You've evolved. You've evolved. This is a great card. This, for me, this energy of this card is really, first of all, it's uh, Gabriel giving the messages. Your intuition is way high. Right? I feel like you're hearing, like, it's, it's, there's an energy here if you're hearing the calling, right? Um, like hearing the calling of, the next phase of your life you're in the calling of you learned your lesson it's time to move on right it's a great part and then we have the page i, I really like this page it's a real energy of optimism because he's all yellow and there's this energy in that card of being a student of being willing to accept a gift of maybe a physical gift but um there's an energy of like wonder of wonder of it's almost like somebody gives you a present that you weren't expecting right and not only was the person who gave you the present you weren't expecting but it's, it's something that is is so lovely and you know it's almost like you just met somebody and it, it's not a manipulation thing it's like you just met somebody and you say oh i really like that and they just give it to you it's like, oh, how lovely. Or it's like, oh, I have another one here, right? Like if I were at a party and says, oh, you like, I like your bracelet, you know, just for an example. And I, you know, and I just bought one on the street and I was like, oh, here you go. You know, here's a bracelet for you. And it's like, oh, it's like this delight. There's a sense of delight and, um, and emotional fulfillment and, you know, really feeling full and, and loved. Mm -hmm. I think because you've decided to, um, this, yeah, 
it's almost like there's a, a part of your kingdom that you've decided to take hold of. I don't know how to say it. There. Maybe in the past. It's like, well, I'm not really going to pay attention to that. If I don't pay attention to it, it won't exist. <laughs> it won't be there, right? <laughs> if I don't pay attention to the leak in the roof, it'll work its way out. Or if I don't pay attention to the fact that like my boss is a criminal and a tyrant, then everything will be okay. La, 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 la. I, I don't feel... <laughs> I, had, I feel like you're like, you're looking at it straight on. You're looking at it straight on. And just and making a decision about... Making a decision to let go of your grief so that you can move on, making a decision to let go of um, really the grief and the sadness so you can move on because the season has passed and you're ready to go out into the world. You're ready to go out into new, um, a new adventure. On a new adventure, it's really nice. That makes sense that you've heard that is toward something really stable and you're going to establish something new that's based in love of a night and you're taking the action because you're the emperor you're taking the action and you have a, a willingness to you know move forward with it no matter what anyone else says because your intuition is on target as always it's a new path. It's a new path. I think that's what this is about. Feels like this energy of um, like an adventurer. Like this energy of an adventurer. And um, like an uh, like a hope and a and a calling and a, I don't know excitement there's some real excitement to this and, and you really have like really good cards the only card that's kind of weird is that five of um, cups but the five of cups five is change so the five of cups is really a change in the way you feel it's really a change. I mean, that's that I could just break it down to is exactly what it's a change in the way you feel. And um also the five of cups has this energy of um letting the grief pass. You know, because it's a river and the river moves. You know, and sometimes the river moves fast, and sometimes the river moves slow, right? But the river is always moving, right? It's emotion. And, um, and that's what energy, that's the energy of water, ever moving, right? It's like emotions, like healing, like intuition, ever moving. And there's this energy of saying, well, I was disappointed, but it's all right. Still got to do what I got to do. And I still got to move on because I have changed. And especially with all these cars, look at this, I think. Hearing the calling, being reborn. Opportunities abound toward being emotionally fulfilled. You have the high ground. Your intuition is way, way, way high. You're the astronaut going off into a new land because you've let go of the grief of the past. Um, you know how to use your mind in order to get things done, to establish something new that's based in healing and intuition and love, you're ready and willing to act because your mind and your emotions are, are both, you know, I, I know they're going in opposite ways, but that's the way it is with you, Pisces. But they're both, they're coming from the same place in a way, toward a new path. <clears throat> and you have all the tools you need to manifest whatever it is you want towards stability and happiness and dynasty and wealth. Really nice. Really nice, darling. 
All right. Uh, I will do a new moon or full moon reading. I think it's this week. I have to figure it out. I'm probably going to go live. If you like to do the lives. I, but I need more outfits, kids. I need more outfits. I don't have enough clothing. That's it's really an issue for me. <laughs> Blessings.